Okay, good morning, Tun. Uh, I'm Chan from Malaysian Insight. Uh, the Satu has taken three former UMNO MPs and looks to accept more. So, what is the what is the reasoning behind this um, this move? Yeah, you can condemn all the members of UMNO because of the mistakes made mistake made by their leader. Some are committed, some are not committed. Uh, these people, they are followers. Leaders, we are not keen to take. But the followers, some of them have followed because they did not participate in formulating the policies of the party, AMNO, or even leading AMNO. Uh, they are ordinary members. Uh, they have cho been chosen to become candidates and they have won. Now, now they feel they have seen the, the accusation level at Najib and they felt that uh, AMNO is no longer the party that it was. It's no longer struggling for the principles that AMNO was formed. So they want to come out. They want to come out, but they're still interested in politics. Some of them have met me, and they gave the undertaking that they want to join uh, Pati Pribumi, but they will not try to get any position in the party. They will not hold any position, nor will they be candidate in future election. So that those are the conditions. And we told them to join um, uh, Bersatu, there are conditions. Number one, you must leave AMNO. You must become independent for a, time, for a short time. And during that time, you must show that you are supportive of the government, PH government. And then you can apply. Or you can apply earlier. But anyway, the application will only be considered after we have uh, observed their behavior, then we will have to put conditions to them. They can join, uh, at least Bersatu, they can join, but they can hold no position in Bersatu. And if at all they uh, contest, it will not be the present uh, position. So they will come in as members. They have a following. These people have a following. As you know, in the last election, quite a lot of Malays supported AMNO. So AMNO was still popular in the eyes of some Malays. Uh, those Malays must be brought out. Because if those Malays support Bersatu, then Bersatu will become strong, PH will become strong. So that is our position. We're not taking leaders like, uh, you know, two or three names, like I mentioned. Those leaders, no way they can come in. They are involved. There are cases against them. Uh, they, they will have to pay, face uh, the courts. But we are not accepting them. We are accepting only those leaders who are not implicated and who has not shown very strong support for Najib. And, uh, you know, some of them were cursing PH and calling me names and all that, uh, those people we uh, cannot accept. It is not just freely coming into Basatu. They have to be scrutinized and to see whether they qualify or not. So, uh, even after the scrutiny, I think the problem now among Kata Harapan supporters is that many people are concerned that these people from AMNO will bring the rot into uh, Bersatu and Pakatan Harapan. So how can you assure that the rot will not come? <laughs> no, the leaders will not come. These are the followers. And these uh, people know that the leadership of Bersatu is not easily influenced. The leadership of Bersatu actually came from AMNO. But these are the AMNO people who have their own minds. They are not going to be influenced by these uh, these other people. So, do, do the other members of uh, Pakatan, Pakatan Arpan, do they, any of them voice their concern personally to you? 
Yes, they are concerned. Uh, we are concerned also. Uh, we don't want to give the impression that AMNO is taking over Bersatu or any other party in Pakatan Harapan. But uh, we are very uh, serious about vetting this, these uh, people. Uh, they want to come in. And I think uh, in the villages, they are still influential. Uh, we reject them, we may be rejecting voters. And they can bring in some voters. And I think uh, it will strengthen Bersatu, it will strengthen Pakatan Harapan as well. Is this part of uh, Pakatan's uh, uh, strategy to obtain two-thirds majority that it needs? For yeah. Personally, I don't like a two-thirds majority. I want a strong opposition. But as you can see, the opposition is totally shattered. Everything has uh, broken down. MIC is not functioning, MCA is not functioning, uh, in Sabah they are not functioning. The whole of AMNO has split into so many parts. Some want to remain in AMNO, some want to come out, some want to give up politics. So there is no, uh, uh, no opposition that is credible at this moment. But we need, uh, even when I was in the government before, when I was head of BN, I used to say that we need a credible, uh, we need an opposition. Because without an opposition, it is like having no mirror to look at yourself. Then you think you are beautiful, but actually you are very ugly. Ton, um, there are also, like Nazri Aziz, he has said that he, because he cannot negotiate with you, he has negotiating with Anwar. So, if, um, uh, do you, are you concerned with this Amno power play to uh, carry favor with both you and Anwar? No, it is up to them. If they want to see me, I see them. If they want to see Anwar, they can see Anwar. They can see anybody. This government does not prevent you from talking. During Najib's time, if anybody sees me, immediately he gets punished. You know, even private sector people cannot see me. All my friends had to run away from me. Because if you see me, you are seen to be supporting me, the income tax government will, uh, department will come and charge you millions of dollars. That has happened. One company had to was charged with 90 million extra extra tax to pay if they come anywhere close to me. So for a time I had no friends, you see, and I had no money. These people won't dare to give me money. We had to struggle on our own. But here, this government, if anybody wants to see Naji, we didn't stop. You want to see the, anybody, you can stop. You want to see Anwar, you can see Anwar. You want to see Kizyang or whoever, that's your business. 